draft of the financial guidelines in its packet today, I would recommend that we can postpone that one until we have a draft of the financial guidelines from the finance committee. Okay. And Anna? I'm going to say the one that nobody wants. Is I'm sorry? It, I'm going to say the thing that nobody wants. Um, is it possible to do a meeting on the 11th? I know. <laughs> I'm, but I'm looking like I'm, I'm looking at the 18th and we're either going to be here till 1am today or 1am on the 18th. So uh, is it. And, and may I just recall people, we had to do this last time we ended the term too. We, we had have... to add an extra meeting. Lynn, we do have a, we do I'm have, sorry? A, we do have a special meeting scheduled for the 11th, the orientation for the new councils. Which right. Will be so a, can we a meeting of the full council? Can right. we add to that agenda? And we could move on to a full council meeting that night. It's already posted as a council. The whole meeting is a council meeting. It's a special right. council meeting. If you wanted to put other um, regular business onto the special council agenda, you could do that. So after the I'm going to make the following proposal. Wait, so can yeah. I, sorry, can I finish the, if, yes, if we do it, I think that it would make most sense to move um, the goals to that session as it's something that will apply to the folks who are coming to the orientation and they could benefit from and not as a part of the discussion but from watching mm -hmm. it if they're already here okay uh is there any reason we need to do carryover tonight no that's the 18th so the financial goals we're doing on the 11th the 18th we're doing the guidelines carryover on the 18th sorry 18th. Are, Andy, do you? No, I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah. I I skipped over town manager evaluation. Just hold that. Town manager goals, 11th? Yes. Financial guidelines. Andy, do you think you'd be ready by the 11th? Probably not. I think we need to the 18th. Okay. Carry over discussion, the 18th. Yes. Okay. It yeah. kind of has to be. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, calendar. Can we do that on the 11th? Yes. And should we send you feedback in the meantime? Yes. Shouldn't sure. we just discuss that feedback now since it was conflicting? Sure. Uh, we can. Okay. We're going to deal with that one tonight and get the feedback. Oh, sorry. Uh, town manager compensation. Okay, fine. So we have two items we're going to do tonight, town manager evaluation and the calendar, and then the compensation. So town manager evaluation, I've done two different uh, revisions. One was later today when it was called to my attention by Mandy Johanneke that I mixed up some stuff. And so I went back to the original paragraph with some slight changes and then gave you the example of what Mandy Joe had suggested as a substitute for that. And then any other, and I included the uh, table and then I took the um, feedback I received from four counselors and tried to integrate that into the memo. So the, the issue or the version you should be looking at is the version that's in your packet and in the center of the title, it says V period two. Now we can handle this one of two ways, see if there's any specific comments, but you could also send me any additional changes and we could adopt it on the 11th, as long as it does not impact the town manager's evaluation discussion, compensation discussion. Mandy Joe. I had suggested in my feedback to you, and I know it's not in here and it's not in here for a reason, but that's why I'm going to bring it up tonight. Um, mm -hmm. That's fine. That the evaluation memo delete what on version two begins on page five and runs all the way to page 25. In other words, that the evaluation memo delete all of the summaries of 
each of the counselor comments for each goal and all of the documentation related to that. Um, the reason I suggested that deletion and I'd like the council to consider it is because summarizing 13 individual counselors' <laughs> comments and making sure they are comprehensive summaries and accurate summaries takes not just a lot of time from someone doing it, but also will take a lot of negotiation time here in the council meeting to make sure we're all happy with each of those. I believe there are 13 different goal summaries there. Um, and the manager two weeks ago stated himself that he reads our individual comments closely and takes them to heart. And so I feel like the evaluation can be just as effective if it's the, the ratings and a couple of summary comments within the memo itself and then a reference to for more information on why we got to the ratings we got reference all of our 13 individual comments so i would suggest we delete the bulk of what is in here and concentrate on the first four pages and changes to those pages I just want to point out in the revision memo, it would only be the first three pages because it, it would be everything starting with policy goals and beyond. It goes to page four on the document that on the PDF that we have two lines are on page four. Okay. I'm, I'm probably it, looking at, you might be picture. looking at the, the non tracked, yeah. the clean sort of version of that. So I that, am. yeah. Thank you. So you're, but you know, on a clean one, if no matter which one, it would from policy goals on, it would not include, based on your suggestion, it would not include the summary of the ratings and it would not include an attempt to summarize. It, it would include the summary of the ratings, that's in the memo. Right. But it would not include attempt to summarize the comments the counselor made, the counselors made at all. And so you would get rid of all of those summaries and all of the repeating of what right. those goals are. <laughs> you would leave the evaluation process information that begins on the document that's in the packet for me, page 26. Yeah. Okay. So Mandy Jo did send that suggestion to me. I felt like, like that was a larger change than uh, and would need to be discussed. And so let me just say before you is a version two, which incorporates changes to all parts of the existing memo. What Mandy Joe is suggesting is that we would only do the first part and the very last part, which ex which provides connect, which provides links and summary of methodology. Dorothy. I disagree. Um, I made my individual comments because I'd assumed that they were going to be just part of a summary. Uh, they're not meant to be standalone comments in any way. Um, I So we were told the process was going to be a summary of it, and that, I think, should not be changed at this point retroactively. Um, I also don't think that I want to spend a tremendous amount of time, more time, on the town manager uh, evaluation. I think that we have done that. People have spoken, people have written. Um, and, you know, if we're going to just fight over every single thing, then, you know, um, I am leaving the conference, the council, okay? Other people have to think that they can stand it, that they can put up with these kind of meetings that go on and on and on. And um, I, I'm very satisfied. I, I haven't seen Lynn's latest document. I had printed out, I printed it out, got the, the other one, the wrong one, I guess. Um, but what I've seen was fine. And I think the town manager is smart enough to be able to figure out what we were saying and what we meant and to know that we value his work and had some suggestions, but that we're not going to go after with knit, 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 little point. So I, I would like to just do this quickly. Thank you. Are there any other comments? So we have two options here. One is I'll take additional comments and bring it back on the 11th 
The other one is to take the motion that's on your motion sheet and move. Kathy. Um, I, I just wanted to say, Lynn, I thought you did a great job on the revision. So I'm agreeing with Dorothy. My literally, my only comment was the bar chart was missing a bar label to give you a sense of my super I, careful reading. I corrected that by- No, and it's been corrected. Giving so, it more space. So I'm comfortable with this, but go ahead with, with your motion. I just wanted to acknowledge the amount of work that went in to the revision. Okay. And I thank you for it. Mandy Jo? If we're going to keep the summaries, I have a lot of requests to revise the summaries. Okay, then I'm going to suggest you that we, I take suggestions from people for revisions. I need them by Wednesday of this week. I'll bring this back on the 11th. Okay. All right. So with that, uh, that will come back on the 11th. As stated earlier, the goals will come back on the 11th, the 18th, the finance, financial guidelines and the carryover will come back. Uh, are there comments on the calendar? <coughs> Lynn, Lynn, before you move to the calendar, I'd like to suggest the executive session be moved to the 11th so that you can vote on the evaluation before you vote on compensation. Okay, can I also suggest that on the 11th, the town manager and I might like to do our state of the town address. Not that we spent any time this weekend on it, but that's okay. Um, Paul, you okay with that? You know what? Look at it this way. The new counselors coming in, we'll get to hear it. Okay. Uh, all right, calendar, comments. Uh, Anna, was this a raised hand and a raised hand? Okay. Both of them. All right. Uh, April 22nd is the first day of Passover. We should not have a council meeting on the first day of Passover. Right. And June 17th is Eid. Um, April 22nd is a legal holiday. So that one feels pretty clear. Um, Eid El Adsa is, uh, runs from June 16th through, I can't remember the last day, can, but can you hold on a minute? Well, I'm first sorry. of all, I know we see the calendar on the screen, but I had my notes. Do you mean no all, one else had my notes? Second of all, would you speak a little slower? Yeah, I can. Thank you. It's possible. Okay. I'm tired. Okay. So starting over, reading my notes more slowly. The 22nd. April 22nd is the first day of Passover, which That's is right. a legal holiday. Right. June 17th is one of the days of Eid al-Adza, um, which is four days. So it's, I believe, maybe less pressing than the first day of Passover, but still could be recognized as we're considering our calendar. Um, those are the two holidays that I noted. I was not looking for other things as I went through. Okay. I, Jennifer and I did, I mean, Jennifer, excuse me, Athena and I did realize that there was a mistake by doing the 22nd of April. Uh, and the 17th of June, I'm going to just ask, is that a holiday people feel we need to avoid? I'm sorry. It's, it's Eid. It's an Islamic holiday, Muslim holiday. It is. Eid al-Adha, it right. is an Islamic holiday. Right. It's an Islamic holiday. It's celebrated for three to four days during that time. And is that the first night? It's not, I believe the first night is the Sunday. Okay. That's why I said, I don't think it's as pressing as Passover, but I wanted to note it as okay. it's, it is a holiday. Are you mm -hmm. sure? Mm-hmm. I thought the sixteenth was the so first day. So if we so on the if we move April twenty second, we would either go to April eighth, or we would go to April twenty um, ninth, or we would only have one meeting in April, which seems a little not reasonable. So, uh, is there a preference on April 8th or the 29th? The 29th is the second to last evening of Passover. And I, that's a problem. Right? It's it's day eight. Okay. So if, it's day seven, it would be because day one is the day one is the 20 sec. Well, evening one is the 22nd. Day one is the 23rd. And so 
evening eight is the 28th. Okay, so it may I make it April 8th. What's wrong? Pat, Pat got disconnected. Thank you for letting us know. She can, she's here in the town room, so she can still participate. She just won't be on Zoom. Okay. So we have it up on the screen, Pat. Your microphone's working. Yeah. Great. And you just won't have your video. So it's the 8th, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I am requesting that we add a regular meeting on July 1 and on August 5. Um, those would be the typical regular meeting dates for both of those months in the last four, five years of the council. Um, calendars have regularly tried to not put meetings on. The, I'll, I'll talk about July 1 separately than August 5th, but we've generally not tried to put a meeting on August 5th or the first meeting first Monday in August. And then we've added it to a calendars if needed. And then we've run into we have to have it. I don't think there's any time in the last five years we haven't needed it. And when it's put in as if needed, people schedule vacations and then we run into quorum problems. So I believe we need to actually list it on the calendar as a regular meeting. If for some reason we don't actually need it, it will get canceled, but we don't, we shouldn't even say if needed, we should just put it there and expect to have it. July 1, normally we have only had one meeting in July because we've had three meetings in June because we've generally had the very last Monday in June a meeting to get the, the, um, budget done. It, that meeting's listed as special meeting if needed on June 24th. I would, as a precautionary measure, list July 1 as a regular meeting and just have us assume we're having one of those two, but not both of them. Um, June 24 or July 1 um, depends on whether the budget's ready on June 17. Yeah. <laughs> is I would whether you do the 24th keep, or July 1. Yeah, I would suggest we keep July June 24th and get rid of July 1. Because uh, June 24th we can still pass the budget by July 1 we have a little problem. Right, which is why we normally have 3 in June and right. 1 in July. Yeah. So I would eliminate July 1. That would be okay with me if with the change of regular meeting on June 24. Are there other comments? I'm looking. For, I'm looking for hands. Mandy, Joe, you still have your hand up. All right. With this calendar, then I am going to make a motion. I'm trying to get something off the agenda. Um, to adopt the 2024 town council meeting calendar as presented, as amended. Okay, you're right. It was in the packet. All right, as amended, is there a second? Second. Are there any other questions or comments? Then we'll take a roll call vote. Um, I believe we're starting with Anika Lopes. Okay. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yes, sure. You can even bind the next council in this case. Um, Michelle Miller, you need to vote too. Aye. Dorothy Pam, you need to vote too. Yes. Pam Rooney? Yes. You got to live with it. Kathy, you have to live with it. <laughs> yes. Andy, you have to live with it. Yes. Jennifer, you have to live with it. Yes. Alicia, you have to live with it. Yes. Shalini, you can bind the next council. Yes. Pat, you have to live with it. <laughs> no. Aye. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> I. I. Uh, Anna, can you live with it? I Lynn Griesmers and I Mandy Johanneke. I okay, it's unanimous. Thank you, um, Alicia. Did Alicia vote? Oh, Alicia, you voted. Yes, didn't you? yes, yeah. I did. Thank you, Michelle. Thank Sorry, you. I I went so fast. It's possible she didn't. Okay, am I hearing that we're moving the executive session to next week because to the eleventh? Yeah. Okay. That's right, we haven't. 
Okay. Then in that case, Dorothy. I just want to say thank you to Mandy Joe for looking at the calendar and taking the time to think it through. Um, I appreciate that. I, I do want to mention that actually Athena and I tried that and we messed up on the one issue <laughs> and we already did know it. I just want to give credit to Athena who first put it together. Um, and we did look at holidays and we missed that one. So our, our fault. That was on us. Uh, I'm sorry. Anna, I see you. <laughs> Okay. No, I was no. Thanks. What? Nothing. It's all good. Okay. Okay. Uh, appointments. The only thing I want to mention is in your packet is a letter from the town clerk. It 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 notifies us of two vacancies on the housing authority because uh, the positions were not filled during the election. Uh, one position was filled by a write-in and that person has since declined. So um, in the packet for either the 11th or the 18th, I will advance a calendar that will begin with January 2nd for because that's when the 45 days start counting by which we have to do this. And um, before then, I would uh, hope to be able to talk to uh, the chair of the housing authority and talk about when, what their cycle of meetings look like. One of the reasons this is not as urgent as the school committee was is because it's a five member body. It has three voting members on it. And they, so after on, as of January 2nd, they will still have a quorum and can still do business. Mandy Joe, you have your hand up. Um, except I think the charter requires we fill it within 45 days, just yeah. like any other one. So it is just as urgent oh, yeah. from getting it right. done from the complying with the charter point it, of view. It is. And that's one reason why the calendar will start for on January 2nd. Okay. Uh, committee reports. Any CRC? Are you still speaking to us? <laughs> We have a meeting next Thursday on the agenda will be, we will start with nuisance property, nuisance house renamed nuisance property bylaw. From there, we will move on to rental registration bylaw. In addition to speaking and discussing the requests for revisions that everyone who wants them considered will send me by Friday. At noon. At noon, I have to get them out to Athena by the by 1 p.m. because of my afternoon schedule. So if I don't have them by noon, they're not making it in the packet before the weekend. Um, but we will also discuss on rental registration incorporating nuisance bylaw, um, nuisance property bylaw um, language into the rental permitting by law to add potential um, violation, no, remedies, remedies, enforcement actions to the permitting by law as they relate to in violations of the nuisance property by law. It'll all make sense when a report is written, but um, <laughs> um, that, that those will be that will be part of the discussion of rental permitting on the 14th. After that, we will move to the transition memo. Solar bylaw will not be on for discussion on the 14th. It will be pushed to the next council committee. Right. It's in the yeah, it'll be concluded in the transition memo, but the transition memo is undergoing major revisions after tonight. <laughs> because what we just dumped on you. Uh elementary school building committee, Kathy or Alicia. Kathy, anything? There's there's a meeting this Friday. Um an agenda is posted, but I have to add one additional item that we're gonna talk about a process for figuring out what playground equipment. So we're in the really fun phase of the project, but it it's at 830 on Friday morning. The, the only other details around this is we are rapidly moving to get it on the planning board agenda, the conservation committee agenda, and talking about the first site pro 
package, which would be in the spring. So this is is moving a lot of moving parts that are moving quickly. I only have one request, and that is, would you make sure that the council and the public knows when the fence is going to go up so we can start observing? Uh, absolutely. And you did ask that last time, okay. and I haven't been able to come back with a good answer yet because we're talking about can we widen the driveways to go in and out and remove a tree so that the trucks can get in and then the fence there is a date I'll, I'll find out about the fences yep the tree is the one that's going to give you the problem all right finance committee andy um i was going to make a report tonight but uh i think i'll just put it into writing that was supplementing the um piece that we already submitted. Thank you. GOL, Pat? Um, the report's in the packet. I'm assuming everyone read it. We did thoroughly. Uh, Jones Library, Anika? Jones Library had a very quick meeting last time where we um, really just approved some pending um, invoices. Uh, there was no financial report, and the next meeting date has not been announced yet. Okay. TSO, Anika? I say one oh, thing okay. about GOL. We have a meeting this Friday, which is unusual, at 9 a.m. Um, and we're all, yes, and also on the 13th at our regular 9.30 time. Okay. Thank you. TSO will meet this coming Thursday at 7 p.m., and we will have a packed agenda. Okay. Liaison reports, any? Okay. Uh, pa Paul, you have a written report. If there are any questions or comments, I'm open to them. And that's the only written report for the month of December. So you could still ask questions next week or the following mm -hmm. week. Okay. Yeah. Um, topics not reasonably anticipated. We're not doing an executive session. Are there any councilor comments? Yes, Jennifer. I just want to say that District Three, Dorothy and I are having our um, you know last district meeting of the year on December 12th at the Jones Library in the Woodbury Room from six to eight. And because it overlaps with dinner, we will have pizza. And it will, for the district, it'll be a, an opportunity to also say thank you to Dorothy. I believe District 5 is doing a meeting too. District 5 already had our meeting. You did? We did. Okay. Uh, I believe that all uh, districts have met the requirement of at least two meetings, so. You will as of next week. You know what? I'm glad I checked. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, anything else? Councilor comments? Uh, Pam. Thank you. Uh, tonight was a really good example of uh, the huge amount of information in the packet. And unfortunately, some of it arrived really just today. Yes. So it is, it is, we don't have a mandate for information to be provided by a certain date and time ahead of a meeting, but uh, it's it's really not possible sometimes to keep up with that load. And it's not that it's a load, but it's it's too late and it's too much sometimes. How do we fix that? Do we, I, you know, do we just say we aren't discussing it if we don't have it in the packet by a certain day? We've talked about that, but we don't seem to enforce it. And rules of procedure have actually talked about this in GOL. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any other council comments? We have a meeting next week that begins at what time? Um, I haven't heard responses from everybody that I polled, but I think 630 works for everyone, so we should plan on 6.30. And do you think the orientation might start earlier? No. No. So 6.30. And the orientation, for those that might not come to the orientation because maybe they're not they, going to be counselors next time. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there an estimated time where they would we should allow, actually show up? Or how long do you want to allow for the orientation? When we set the agenda on Wednesday, we'll set a time to wrap the orientation so we can let counselors who aren't interested in that portion of the meeting know when they can attend for the regular business. Okay. But we haven't gotten into the details of the orientation agenda enough to, for me to estimate. I think it should be an hour, but I want to make sure that that works with what we've planned first. Right. 
So, but we'll let you know on Wednesday if that's okay. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions or comments? Pam, you have your hand up. Okay, Mandy Jo, you have your hand up. I wanna thank Athena. I know it's not the end of the month yet, but we just added another meeting to you and all of the packet items and all. You added three Well, meetings. three meetings this month, but we just, oh, no, 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 but tonight, we, we added next week's meeting tonight. Technically it already existed. We just made it worse. Yeah, so I just want to thank Athena for all she does. And I know she's been under a lot of stress and all for what we've been doing, but thank you, Athena. Well-deserved, extremely well-deserved. Are there any other council comments? Seeing none, the meeting is adjourned. It's 11.06.